Today we've got a 2009 uh, Voxel Insignia 2 litre CDTI. Uh, there's no option on KES on this one, so the only option is on K tag. So we've got to remove the ECU, uh, which is located under the bonnet. So just lift up the bonnet. You can see the ECU on these are located in the engine bay, just between the battery and the engine, just here. So to get to the ECU, you've got to pull up this black case in, both sides, and it separates. So that's the ECU there. Uh, so what we're going to do is take the casing off, the black casing, plastic casing that surrounds the metal ECU here. Um, get to the ECU, but before disconnecting the main block connector, uh, unplug the battery. When you do disconnect the battery, make sure you use a memory saver to save radio codes, alarm settings, uh, personalised settings and remote locking codes. So that's the ECU off. Uh, just take extra care when you're taking the block connector uh, off the actual uh, ECU. The block connector is these parts here. When you take them plugs out, make sure they're fully open before you pull them out. Uh, otherwise you can damage the pins on here which will cause running issues. Uh, once you've got the ECU off, always give a visual inspection to the actual pins, make sure none of them have been bent. So we're going to take this to the bench now, take it out of the last bit of casing, um, open it up and get on key tag to program it. So the ECU is all out now, uh, got it in the vise. So the next step is to take these screws out around the edge. Um, it was recommended to sort of use a um, just a normal screwdriver or this will make it quicker um, once you've got the screws out from around the edge the next step will be to put in the extractor bolts um, look at our other video of how to use them put in the extractor bolts heat up the perimeter of the ECU uh, once that's heated up enough tighten up the extractor bolts around the edge and basically that will lift up the lid and cut away the glue. Um, check out our other video about ECU opening for the correct procedure to fully get this lid off. It's uh, more good than people think. So we've got the extractor bolts in uh, around the edge. Um, we've heated it up, heated up this section as well. So as you tighten up the bolts, you can get the gap. Move on to the next one. If we don't tighten up, then put more heat in basically. So you can see you've got a gap, you've got a gap in there now. So you can um, heat it up a bit more, uh, turn the power of the screwdriver up, um, and run, run it through again with the uh, tightening up a bit more. The other option you've got is you could add brake cleaner uh, into here. Uh, we don't, a lot of people do this, but we don't really recommend it uh, as it may cause damage to the actual circuit board inside. If you do use brake cleaner, uh, be sure to use um, electrical contact cleaner or uh, an ECU safe uh, cleaner that will clean away the residue of the brake cleaner uh, to ensure that it's not causing any damage to the actual circuit board. So uh, what we're going to do next is heat it up a bit more, um, tighten up this, this screw and this one and make our way around. Once we've got it lifted around this sort of, uh, this sort of gap, we can put the Stanley knife in and cut away the glue that's in this channel here all the way around 
So I've done all the uh, connection with on KTAG. As you can see here, got the boot in, the pin out, and it's just reading off now. So we've finished the programming now, that's all uh, been programmed to uh, for stage one remap. Uh, it's just a case of disconnecting, uh, re gluing the perimeter, uh, and resealing um, and fitting it back to the car.